So here we are, Phoenix Point Year One Edition. It's our first ever attempt to live stream again, so uh, it's all going to be a bit ropey. Got Johnny B there is the face, just to keep you young and beautiful. <laughs> uh, so let's play the prologue. Let's do it. Okay. So we go. Look, we've got loads of DLC here. Uh, I backed this. Uh, it wasn't Kickstarter. It was something else. I think. Go for. I can't remember where where that was but i've not had a computer for a while just a laptop um no proper graphics card but i recently bought a better computer to do better editing for the videos that we do and thought oh maybe i could play some of these games that i bought and never played or haven't played in years since my old pc died uh so johnny b is going to try and monitor the chat if you've got things to say uh that's that's his role yes, say hi right. if you are there um Interestingly, all I've got is the MFA screen. Sitweb is yellow alert. Other refugees are coming from the coast. 400 yesterday. The mist is coming fast. We need weapons, vehicles, and food. If there is anyone that can respond to the movie audio coming, coming through. through. A fatal paper cut. Hello, sir. Every day. Or lady. With Jacob. Can you Wait. guys see anything? Can you see anything? Wait. Fatal paper cut. A scarab got it too. It's AI directing it to our rendezvous. Fatal paper cut. We had no news from Symes for many months. Did he send the activation codes? I was desperate Can to you know. See anything? The mutants. Because I can't. <laughs> Something was happening. If the mist was back, then it meant that the Pandora virus was mutating again, twisting the human form into new horrors. I mean, we're gonna kill we aliens. To regroup, brilliant. Rebuild, but first we had to get to that scarab. There it is. So this is the tutorial mission. This is gonna be pretty spoon feedy, I think, uh, to show us the basics. I have had a little bit of a play. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. This we're using StreamYard and it doesn't seem particularly well set up for this to get you any audio at all. I've had to use the whole show you my whole screen thing, so I can't really mess with settings very easily without showing you my secrets. Um, but we'll see how we do and uh try and improve on it next time. So, camera and movement this is just going to tell this us this is the rendezvous stuff. point. The scarab is waiting for us right over there. There's an XCOM type game, the blue line yeah, is showing me where I can move. Room. So yeah, I was about to say. Now I don't know much about Phoenix Point other than it's done by the guy, uh, the, the, guy <laughs> the guy that did XCOM original. <laughs> the the original XCOM. What, Enemy unknown, the, right? Yeah, the one from thirty years ago, which yeah, I absolutely. loved. And I yeah. I put quite a few hours into that game with time units. Yeah. Yes. Oh yeah, I sunk some time units into that game. May so fact. very fond memories. Now this. Looks to be playing like the more recent XComs that they brought out. Yeah, so I would I would say that it's it's something of a hybrid, um, and by that I mean it's more complex than the newer XCOM games, right? Um, so and therefore it's not quite as slick. Okay, you know that's the the new XComs are. Very slick. So there you've just seen one of the interesting features of this game is that it's interrupted me part way through a movement because I've seen somebody. I don't complete the movement. It stops me there and it doesn't cost me the any more action points than what I've used up to that point. And you can even see as I hover over him, he's got two and a half action points left. That's not going to carry on the move then as soon as you click OK. That's, no, that's got you it's right not there, going to carry it? on the move, no. Um, I'm getting to you, it's telling me I've stopped here uh, and I should shoot. So I'm going to press the shoot option. It brings up the reticule. And it's telling me, look, the white area is the bit of him that I'm going to kill. And the targeting reticule is quite important. Half of your bullets go in the small circle, half of them in the big. The big awesome. circle is covering his body, so everything's going to hit. Do it. Gamers with coffee, hello. Hello, hello. Uh, and we have got Dave with us. If in doubt, throw a grenade. Fact. Yeah. Funny enough, I you don't start with grenades, do you? No, unfortunately, in the tutorial, it's not giving you grenades. 
Uh, no, it it's it's just unit. So now we're seeing the free aim function, which is really good. So by default, I think it puts this reticule in the biggest part of the body mass. But in the free aim, so you're going to shoot particular bits of him. That's new. That's new, yeah. Um, and it's That's telling me... the effects there. Yeah, That's the effects on the... So on the right here, it's telling me if I destroy that body part, that's the effect. And at the top, it's showing me the overall effect. And you'll see it's predicting death. <laughs> nice. One down. One down, This mate. must be the scarab. It's seen better days, but it will have to do. Jump inside. Yeah, man. Jump inside. Jump inside. Well, that's reassuring that you can hear us saying that. Yes. So I got a dude over there. So tab picture between the blue line is the area you can go whilst you've still got a shot. So what's good about it is it's telling you that if I move there, I've got a shot on this guy. It's giving me a line of sight thing. Okay, that's cool. But what it's not doing is telling me how good a shot it is. Because if you think if I zoom out a little bit, see from there, I'm not actually gonna see much of this guy from there. No. But we're gonna give it a go. There. Oh, and there's another one. He's probably a bit clearer. Ready to engage. Right. Is he though? Well, if mm -hmm. we look at the free camera. So because they do lean a little bit. So this, you know, when I said it's it's like a little bit less slick than XCOM. Yes. Yeah, so if I go back out, when I did the shoot button, it's saying I'm mostly gonna shoot these crates. But actually, when I zoom in... Right. Yeah? So from your perspective, briefly there, yeah, looks like you're... Looks like I'm mostly going to miss. And he's also moving a bit. Whereas when you go on the free aim, it makes... Oops. It makes them static. Okay. So let's let's try. Yeah, and now I'm going to move into cover over here. And end Step my back. turn. And this guy has got a shot, but a shot, but no movement. So, ooh. Oh, he's got no line of sight. Bring him down there, right? And then we're going to end the turn. I I just tuned into. Sorry, yeah. Games of Coffee says that. Or said that a little while ago. Hopefully, it's been explained as we've gone on. Doing, it, doing an experiment. So the game does start you off in easy mode. Is the the alien type dudes are all melee only? So oh, right. It, is that, that easy exactly. mode though? Oh yeah, yeah. When they start shooting you, it really changes the dynamics. Right then. So we're going to take a shot here. I think I might. Try and demonstrate though. So, if I so your hit chance isn't random, all of your shots are going to go within the reticule, and the reticule right. gets smaller as, as you the more accurate you are and the closer you are. So, that 100% of those, and you'll see at the top, That's I'm going to take six shots, um, doing 20 to 30 damage. He's going to die, predicting he's going to die. But I think I might just shoot his arm to show you what happens, okay. Oh, yeah. uh, see, well. his, his arm fell off before he died. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now that matters in some cases when these guys, some of them a bit later have got like big shields and stuff. Right. And the shields have got huge amounts of damage resistance on them. So you want to shoot them off first. Can you get around them though? Like. Yeah, if you can get like a side shot on them and then shoot their arm off. Okay. Uh, he's melee, so I don't want to go any closer than I have to, do I? Let's do this. Get to the chopper. Get to the chopper is literally what we're trying to do here. Oh no! Didn't quite get him. Didn't quite get him, mate. <laughs> I mean, you think on seeing his, you know, walking over the corpses of his bodies, he'd be less enthusiastic about this. Different breed, mate. Different breed. 
So, so are, these, are these aliens like in the original XCOM? What, what's the deal? Who are these dudes? Uh, these dudes, it's like a um, a mutation virusy thing. Okay. And you do get a melee attack. This is just a basic punch one. With a spoon. Or hit him with the rifle. But what's interesting about that, well, well A, it killed him. Um, but it, it has a chance to stun them as well. Okay. Just hitting them with the rifle oh, yes. bot. Well, Sophia Brown just messed him up. Jacob Watch Eber. Out, I think the names of the characters are, are from the original backers. I don't think I've put enough money in to get anything like special. And I don't think there's a Kaiser in here anywhere. I think uh, I think a fatal cut, uh, a fatal cut, a fatal paper cut seems to have played this game before. Not part of oh, right. the stuff. This when you target sure them, enough. off. Yeah. So we're getting That's in cool. the in the vehicle. Get in there. Here Two we go. Seconds. Got a good deal with the dog. Roger that. I mate, we completed completed the first part of the tutorial. Quality. Um, we're still sort of working on because of the third lockdown here in Britain. We're still looking at kind of options for streaming it wasn't really After the direction we wanted to go in but the howling we're, noises we're stopped adapting and then so did the scare up i did a quick survey around our position while jacob talked to the ai there was an abandoned government reclamation station nearby these places are usually good for scavenging supplies and equipment but they often attracted desperate gangs the ai gave us the reason for our stop an emergency rescue signal from another phoenix operative we had a location too right in the middle of that station. The Scarab made it clear that we should attempt a rescue before continuing with our journey. Despite no sign of the mutants, our comrade was clearly under threat. The Scarab's missile launcher would prove very useful. We've got visual on the building. The Phoenix operatives should be close by. There are hostiles up ahead, so stay vigilant. Oh, here we go. Sophia up front. Actually, might use the vehicle. So compared to the dudes, the vehicle's got hundreds of hit points. So I think I'll just scout with it. So there's grades of distance that each of these blue, second blue, orange and orange is how many of the four action points I'm going to use. You never seem to get more than four action points, but you can increase your move distance and get special abilities that allow you to do more things per action point, as it were. The things within the blue line, I'm still going to be able to take a shot with the selected weapon. I think... I'm going to move up into in. this cover and take a shot at this guy here. Yeah. Hostile destroyed. Are you back, Gun? I'm back, sir. Excellent, excellent. Excellent. So, this is, you've moved on, and you seem to be fighting some dudes. Yeah, the dude, man. Yeah. The vehicle is super destructive of the environment, and it does seem to be a, well, it's not, you see, even this, I don't know whether you can destroy this, but it appears so. 
you know, even this bunker, if you do enough damage. Wow. Which is, this is vehicle, you know... This is the vehicle you just literally got into, right? Yeah. At the, end yeah of the, just, the end of the first mission, yeah. Absolutely. Oh, so that's the guy we're looking for. Sorry, John, what? What's going on with the wheels? Oh, yeah, yeah. Flapping um, around. On the concept art and on the kind of stills that we saw between the levels, it looked really good, but... Solid, but that was weird, man. In, in, in the animation of that, the way it moves is just really weird. I mean, that could be, could be my crummy uh, graphics card. It's not, I mean, it's not a terrible graphics card. Top dog, mate. Should be able to cope with it. I just think it's the way it's drawn. So, yeah, this is the guy we've got to rescue. Okay. Within the yellow circle, he's going to join us. There are missiles on this, but they seem to be wildly inaccurate, although quite damaging. <laughs> so Independent. NPCs are autonomous. But you know, like, so you remember XCOM had terror missions. Mm. Yeah, you get those in this as well, and the NPCs defend themselves, but you can take control of them by moving within that circle. That's cool. That's good. Yeah, because you sometimes have to leave VIPs and stuff. Yeah. That's awesome. Mr. Papercut says, yeah, be careful, man. He's just about to type that. Saying if you're not careful, you will destroy all of the cover. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's probably. I'm guessing you fired it whilst I was out of the room, and it was. Uh... <laughs> it's really hard to move that vehicle without just destroying everything <laughs> like that. <laughs> Leave him there for now. Vehicle doesn't seem to be able to overwatch either. Right, so this okay. idiot's not got any weapons, but this is just to tell you how interacting with objects in the world works. I think. And to show you, he has a jetpack. So his jetpack jet costs three action points. So I'm not going to be able to use my jetpack. Top four, but one will only take me to there. Uh... You can do it. I'm just you got to go and get that. Go and get that crate, right? Yeah, there's a crate just here. Look. Okay. So. Right. Here come the goons. El Bandido. He's got like a take, proper take cloak, off, man. man. Shooting this, lines. This is just telling you about the blue is your shooting line, yeah. But yeah, orange is okay. outside the shooting line. Right, so he can see that guy. Assault rifles are two APs to shoot, so you probably better off not moving if you've got a clean shot oh not that, that clean shot. not that clean at all oh me wow nice outline <laughs> yep yeah. right so Luke, this Luke and Rico. needs to move outside is that one ap Check. Yep, that's one AP. On no, it wasn't. Oh, well, you done stuff that up, my garrison. God. Hmm. Hmm. Use, use the vehicle as cover, man. Get behind the vehicle. I also don't have line of sight from because I'm pointing out of that slot there, right? I think I better run up. Here, I'm messing up the tutorial. How, Not really. How, how rubbish the whole purpose of it, right? Yeah. You coming in, bro? Right, let's in. do the do the rocket thing. So you ready for this? Let's see how inaccurate these are. Okay. Oh, the prediction is this dude is dead from a missile right. strike. Let's in the open. Let's see if, what happens if you hit. If. Whoa. <laughs> Yay! Win! Uh, she sounded a bit excited about being blown up. Do you reckon? Yeah. Sounded like. Sounded like she enjoyed that. 
reinforcement points. Uh oh. Yep, yep. It's a dude look. Dudes. Dudes. Very vibrant dudes. More dudes. As a proper mohawk helmet, mate. I love that one. My turn. The heavy weapons guy. My turn. Let's have a look at him. Can we? No, we'll need to get a beat on him. Can you see the mohawk on his helmet? No. No. Uh, can, I can on the big screen. Can on the big Not screen. Not on the little screen. Right. I've still got to collect my weapon. So here we go. So this jetpack is really well designed in that you have four action points, the jetpack costs two to use, and the guy's default equipment is a weapon that is three to shoot. So you cannot actually jump pack and shoot. So, yeah, manoeuvre or fire, but not both. Yeah, yeah. which is Was really... Was he got a big gun? Was he got a great gun? It's a massive gun that can't hit a barn door at ten yards. <laughs> So that's me just taking that stuff. The tier it's one right. auto cannon. Oh, Powerful. Mm -hmm. High damage but low accuracy. Right, so I'm getting that change as you, as you go there. forward. I'm not hitting that guy, am I? If I look at this, you see like is it the, nah. how big the small circle is. There's, uh, so half the shots completely miss in the outer circle. And on your turn, so it so, looks like yeah. half again are going to miss. Yeah, so that's time probably a waste time. Time to move up. How brave am I? Playing like a space wolf, mate. Moving in quick. Play like a space wolf. Run him. Oh. Right. Yeah, space wolves. Uh, Skadoosh. Skadoosh, mate. Yeah, trying to take that hard cover. It's that bit in these games where the range is long, so you close the range and then they shoot you. I never, I never liked that. Yeah, it's tough though. If you if your shots are ineffective. Yeah. How many shots you got left with this? I have got six, and it fires in pairs, so three more. I don't think three it's going to hit these guys. I'll hold think... it. Yeah, I'm going to hold it. Oh, oh. What? Where did he come from? He's just cheeky. So, yeah, the armor value um, is taken off the damage, making these, like, rapid-fire weapons great against unarmored targets. But um, they, they quickly become ineffective if they're outclassed. You know, as the game scales up. Mm. So this guy uh, doesn't look like he's got a shot. Fatal paper cut says, I think the little chevrons on the health bar also indicate possible damage. Let's have a look at that when we get to the next shot. Guy. So he's going to reload. Switching ammo. Switching ammo. So when I take the... Ooh. So he can't see anyone from there. How can he not? Oh, because there's a thing in front. Yeah, so he's going to... Uh... Ah, so from the covered position, I can't see anybody. But if Did I stand, stand like up? a moron in the open... Do it. Yeah, and I Do can it. see somebody. What about if I drop down now? Have a look. Spinning the camera around. No, stay up nah, there. Nah, behind, stay up there, manly. <laughs> There, there is a little barrier up the top there. I did, I did, the I did the wrong thing. You, uh, we talked about the fact that this bit of cover wasn't in it, and then I just moved in there anyway because I'm a Dude. complete moron. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, what a donkey! What's this about the chevrons then? Have a little look. See, yes, Newcomb from up there, man. Newcomb. What? I said Newcomb. New, new, who? You mean get get this? I've still got to worry about this guy. That's what I'm worried about. So let's let's try and rocket him and hopefully blow up somebody environment. Man, that is excessive. Point blank. Yeah, but it's gonna fire on a massive arc. 
Yeah, that. See, that learned him. He's not going to be bothering me again. Right. So I'm you go around here and let's see what he means about chevrons. So we fire. Oh, these chevrons. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right. right. There's Mohawk dude in the background. Oh, so you can see his Mohawk helmet now. He's a proper Mad Max. Crazy, crazy dudes. Ugh. Ugh. So if he was a proper Mad Max crazy dude, he'd be in his underpants. Leather <laughs> underpants. Yeah. That's, that's a fair comment. Who's this dude? So you see this that's guy's heavy. got 34 armor. He is a heavy he is a heavy beast. Yeah, and my shot, well, So look, he says my estimated damage is naught to three for each of six shots. Yeah, maybe don't be doing that. This is not the weapon to fire at that guy. <laughs> Who laughed then? Was it your guy or his? Their yeah, guy? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Learn him. Is, is morale a thing in this? Yes. Um, I'm not sure that it comes into play until in the tutorial. Right. Um, but as. As you shoot up their guys, or as your guys get shot up, you're, there is this stat down here called willpower. Cool. Um, and you use willpower to activate special abilities as well. So it's a really, um, as you kind of move into the mid game, it seems to be a really important currency. But initially, it's just a thing. Yeah. It's just, it's, it's just a thing. I'm going in. Right. Let's move up. Go on, Sophia. So I think she's, she's the one from the video, right? So you saw there I did no damage, but I did strip some armor off him. Okay. So now, when I have a look. So that's not set then. The armor does change. Uh, so some weapons have... Um, like it's called AP. Shred. And so it, it reduces the armor. But the armor's per location. So it's, oh. not very, it's not very effective. So his torso's down to 30. Really, what I need to be doing is trying to shoot with this guy. So... so where can he move and still take a shot? This would make a cool board. <laughs> a wargaming table. Yeah, man. Right, so hopefully, but you see, look, half of these shots are going to miss in the out at this close range. This is a wildly inaccurate weapon. Oh, oh, oh. all of them. <laughs> oh, mate, that was that, terrible. That's not ideal. <laughs> that was awful. If, if only that wall wasn't in the way. This guy's on Overwatch, and that's his cone, so I need to be a little bit careful about that. Uh -huh. You can do it. Here I am. Let's do this. Oh Ooh. no, I messed that up. <laughs> but I can still move some more. <laughs> that jersey barrier is a bit taller than it looked. <laughs> oh no, I've got to shoot this idiot. Oh, damage. Dude. He did say ow, so. I think that I, I, Do you know what? He's the guy you fired the rockets at, right? Remember that he is in the armor. building. Yeah, he's in a building. Boo! Oh, oh. Mate. There's a hole you, in the ceiling, maybe. Let's see if it told, works. Even, oh, this is ridiculous if it works. No. No. <laughs> well, the next shot will go through. Oh, sorry, sorry about that. <laughs> yeah. 
unlicensed drivers, no insurance or anything. <laughs> Sorry. Uh oh. We're gonna get it now. All right. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. I'm gonna see what this gun does. Oh. Wow. It's a lot harder to miss that vehicle, I reckon. Why didn't I have a nice big juicy target to shoot at? Right, where's my big gun? Can I now Get fire at this guy? Kill him dead. Look, half half the shots are gonna hit, mate. They got closer, mate. Should get closer. But you can't fire it, can you? That's the problem. I can move a bit closer. Should do it. Let's do it. Reposition in. Reposition in. Right. Last time I moved, I couldn't shoot because I met, got it wrong. Right, improved accuracy. Kill him, Kill him dead. <laughs> so you see with that, as well as stripping a lot more armor off him, he's also dazed. It's like, whoa. Okay, so some of them are like high velocity and do yeah, that sort high, of thing. They're kind of high impact rounds, yeah. So, um... Well, that's bought you some time. Yes. I'm rolling out here. Eyes peeled. And now he's got a lot less armor on his torso. Just got to keep focusing on that torso. <laughs> oh. Come on. Open for a clean shot. Targeting. Open for a clean shot. That looks pretty clean, right? Best kill him, though, because if you don't... <laughs> that was a kill. Yeah. Wow. That was quite... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm not wasting that on this at this point. There's one left, man. One left. There might be more, come. But I figured if I use the rocket and blew up the building, he'd then move. Well, he did. Because I'd finished my turn. So I should... If he's definitely the last one, let's do the rocket thing now. Blow up the building. I reckons it'll kill him. I bet it won't. Oh, mate. This guy needs to learn how to drive. Oh, oh yeah! Glad you found some gear, because you're going to need it. Now you're part of my squad. Cool. New uh, dude. New dude. Oosh. Totally messed it up, man. Damaged your car. Fucking squished the dude. Language. Ally with them or steal it from them. Fact. Yeah, so the three factions, you know, in that classic computer game way, the three factions After hate the battle, each other the to differing degrees. Towards our base, struggling through the rough terrain. Strange growth. Can you hear uh -huh. this? No. Smashing against. I can hear that. It wasn't long before it took one too many hits. The engine gave a loud crack, and the AI went crack. down. We had lost a valuable member of the team. We knew we were close to our destination, but we didn't know what we would find there. If we were to advance on foot, we had to exercise extreme caution. Approaching the base, we heard gunshots. Extreme caution. Jacob and Omar took positions by my side. What was going on inside? A bandit ambush or something much worse? Following Phoenix protocol, we readied our weapons. It is time to reclaim our home. Yeah. But there are hostiles up ahead. Let's get rid of them and clean up this mess. You can do it. Okay, this is somewhat more enclosed. Pro tip, mate. Rotate the camera, innit? Hmm. Is that pro? Rotating the camera. Proper pro. Hmm. Oh, it's one of these. Look, not oh. really zoom out because it's got other levels above. Multiple levels. Yeah, got all these stuff. So, are you essentially claiming your home base in this mission? Yeah. 
you can if you you know my turn on um on startup you can choose to ignore this particular sequence tango spotted oh maggots realistic ballistics that's explaining how the shooting thing works right so kill the maggots kill the maggots mate oh. i missed it's because you you didn't you didn't rotate the camera mate you it's because i didn't rotate the camera that's what it is can that thing like infect you I think so. With Bribbly juice. I'm gonna like I'm gonna overwatch it, innit? I'm here. Operative oh, this guy move. can just try and shoot it. I bet he's got no chance. Looking for an angle. Oh me, bro. So I overwatch this way. Pop. I mean, that's Nothing. one way to kill a slow. Fire. Oh, shoot in there. What is that? What? Well, there must be a friendly. No visual, but I can hear commotion coming from the hangar. We must investigate. That's cool. I like that. Got some blip. Ow. Somebody just got it. So there was something down there. And then the rest seemed to be in a hangar. Yeah. Check your corners. From me. Uh... I'll be right there. Oh, me. Uh, uh, ally? That's cool. Jacob's going to run off down there. Go get yourself a sniper, dude. I was going to run off over here. What? What was that? Loot, mate. Look at that. I can look in the loot box, but I've not got enough action points to take the loot. Grenade! Woo! <laughs> mate, once we've got grenades, we're pro, right? Oh, thanks. That's... that's... We've got a poison worm situation. Somebody get a med kit. Poison I'm worm sure man. situation. Yeah, you just have one of them orange powders, didn't you? And it'll nice. clear it right up. <laughs> <laughs> you see, if I was making a game like this, you'd deal with this. It wouldn't be a med kit. It'd be worming powder. <laughs> right. That'd be a thing. Sniper class? Nice. But it's also, like, wounded. So we're going to do the medikit thing. <laughs> and it shows you down here how many action points the different devices cost to use. Okay. I'll be right there. Right, so now I actually can do the loot in. So, I'm just thinking though. Let's take take the grenade, but I think we want the idiot with the big gun to take that pistol because he can often not shoot. So he's got an option at least. So he's got an option, yeah, yeah. Let me move around here and take up. Steady, option. take Overwatch positions and wait for them to come. That that was exactly mm. what I was going to do. Tactical tip. Save scum. That's not me, mate. On the live stream as well. I couldn't couldn't do it, could I? I had to suffer the consequences. <laughs> so he's going to take the pistol. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, so the... This is your ready stuff, which costs you no action points to use, and that gun is unloaded, and he's not proficient. Ah, not proficient. That's a big deal. So I think he's probably even worse with that pistol. Yay! 
Let's find out. Reloading. Reloading. Battle Knights, oh. what game is this? Hello, Jason. This is Hello. called Phoenix Doofer. Phoenix Pine. Oh, yeah, Phoenix Doofer. Sniper uses pistols. We've just been informed by a fatal paper cut. Fact. Fatal. The sniper is busy using a worming powder. <laughs> Phoenix Point. So, yes, Mr. Battle Knights, this is essentially XCOM done by the dude that did the original XCOM. And it's pretty cool. Guys, this is showing me what the hell it's all about. So, I'm wondering about that guy later. He can shoot both of them from where he is. Now, this guy... Let's see, because he's so bad. This is Captain Heavyface. Oh, my. Yeah. yeah. If I stand in there, he's going to be in everybody else's way. I want him to have the cleanest possible oh, shot at the closest move. possible range, don't I? Pop, pop, pop. He's big gun. Oh, mate, this might just work. <laughs> oh, yes! You literally disassembled that guy <laughs> or thing, whatever it was. Oh, I overclicked there. But it works. Cool. Is it on Steam? Yes, it is, Mr. Battle Knights. AKA Jason. It is on Steam. The big thing about this game compared to XCOM is is the bit that we've not we're not gonna get to in the tutorial is the strategic oh, really? layer. There's so much more to the strategic layer of this game than um the modern XCOMs. That was the big thing he wanted to bring to it. Did you ever play the of the original series of XCOMs? If you saw Apocalypse, it's a lot more like that. Yeah. Not a not as janky as that. <laughs> With the, the floating anthropods. Um, Mr. Papercut is asking, or Mrs. Papercut is asking, uh, <laughs> did the barrels explode? Oh. Oh, well. Is that a thing? It might be a thing. You might be about to find out. Look at that. He's in profi He's not proficient with his pistol. That's his aiming circle. 50% of shots within the set. He's not going to hit that at wow. all, is he? Wow. Bit of fun for him, though, right? Pew! <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Uh, sniper, 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 sniper. 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 Finger on the trigger. So you see how much smaller his circle is? Wow. Still bloody miss, though. <laughs> did you miss? <laughs> yeah, mate. Yep, yep. You really did. Rookie. It, it didn't look like it on the screen. Come on. Oh, my days. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Remember the pro tip of rotating the camera, mate. That's, that's, <laughs> I think that's what it is. I rotate the camera. He hasn't even got a shot, so you better overwatch. Just in case, Mr. Poison... Oh, can Poison Worm spit? I hope not. Overwatch! <laughs> oh, <my laughs> Like they don't move very Somehow. far. Can't you just walk up and step on it? Oh, you can punch it. Punch it. Punch it, Chewy. Let's punch it. Stamp okay. on the slug. Yeah, yeah. that worked, mate. I'm here. That was worth remembering. Oh, he's out of action points now. Uh, this one hasn't got a pistol. Maybe we're lucky and there's a pistol in there. You can do it. Uh, no, there's pistol ammo. Keep them, keep them entertained, Mike. Keep them entertained? What are you leaving me? 
Uh, good night, Jason. Hmm. So moving up. Trying not to be reckless doing the Overwatch thing. Probably being a bit too cautious. Area covered. Mind fraggers. Well, I'm glad I did all that overwatching now. I'm going in. The door is shut, so we'll have to use those ladders. Go, go, go! Right, Neho. Ladders it is. <laughs> Sorry, be a slow bit here, I guess, while we just do some moving. Right, that's behind that bulkhead. So that's not a problem for us at the Here moment. I am. Let's do this. And... Moving in quick. Moving up. I just know that something is going to jump out of the upstairs and bite me. For some reason, this chap doesn't seem to want to highlight on these squares. Or maybe he just didn't have enough to go up there. That must be what it was. This is very slow. On the move. Let's move out here and see what we can see. Rolling out. Area covered. Gun ammo. And now I'm encumbered. Hmm. Wonder how big an effect that is. Well, there's definitely something out there. There was shooting in the hangar earlier, so it could be a friendly. I think I'll move out here and take a look. Tango spotted. That's not friendly. I'm right. going in. Somebody bashed that thing off his face. Ooh. Ooh, not nice. So. I'm going to shoot him. I haven't got a shot against the squiggly thing. That would be this. So I'm not going to shoot him because he's mind controlled. One of the other guys can get a better shot. 
angle, but it's on the other side of his face, I think. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's still greyed out. Here I am. Let's do this. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, this could be really grim. I don't know what he's going to do with mind control, but I guess he's going to shoot at me, probably. This one to deal with that really. No, nope. because it's a single shot weapon. See if you can get a shot from there. Yes. Amazingly, the bullet didn't go through it into the guy's head. Well, there you go. Finger on the trigger. Meet these guys now. Come get I think. some. And you see in there, they're losing. They're losing willpower. Oh, I'm out of ammo. So I need to reload, and because that's in my backpack, it's going to cost me an action point. Right. That's the guy. Down and get back. Here shot. I come. Fingers crossed. Oh, nice. Kills confirmed. Phoenix, welcome home. And I think that concludes the prologue. Let's see if there's a cinematic or something. Oh, very nice. Sophia now at level two. The reclamation of Phoenix Point was just the first step on our path ahead. A desperate fight against an overwhelming foe and only a handful of friends to help. But if this base could withstand the attack, then so could we, and so could Symes. If our leader was somewhere out there, we had to reestablish contact, no matter the cost. I do like the uh, art style of this game. I think uh, when we get off the screen, we're gonna we're gonna leave it there for the evening. Uh, thank you all for watching, those of you that tuned in. The I Phoenix Project was founded on October twenty fourth, nineteen forty five. The Second War to end all wars was over, but there were those who understood that we could no longer afford to think in terms of nations and empires. For a time. The Phoenix Project successfully navigated the political conflicts of its era. That was our golden age. Phoenix Project operatives scoured the world for clues. We had bases in two dozen countries. Even the heavens were not off limits. But out there, on the far side of the moon, began our downfall. The failure of the Phoenix 2 mission exposed us to our enemies in the UN stripped of resources and scattered to the winds. We were reduced to a secret, a memory. When the Pandora virus woke up, we should have been the first line of defense. When huge clouds of mist appeared over the sea, when people started vanishing, we should have figured out what was going on. And when those people started coming back, changed, hostile, alien, we should have been ready to fight, but we failed. The ecosystem started to change, imperceptibly at first, then faster and faster. 
three factions arose. New Jericho, trying to restore order and purity. Sinedrin, hoping to build a world without hierarchies. And the Disciples of Anu, a new syncretic religion dedicated to adaptation and biological change. At war with the world and at odds with each other, these factions cannot find a way forward. Now the mist is returning and armies are rising from the sea. Without the Phoenix Project, humanity will fall. It's time to rise from the ashes. <laughs>